I know what you're thinking. Richard, what's a Ford Raptor have to do with this video? Well, I'll tell you, casual viewer troll on the internet, everything. The Breakdown is where I take your favorite parts of movies and video games and show them to you in real life. This episode, Sniper Arena. Enter the arena and become the number one sharpshooter competing against more than 500,000 players from around the world. Sniper Arena is a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android where you play Sniper vs. Sniper Live. I'm really impressed after taking a quick look at their Facebook page and seeing how active their community is and how much they listen to their feedback. Just look at their selection of rifles, it's insane! The folks over at Sniper Arena who sponsored this video asked me if I could show you guys what the most effective sniper round would be in real life. I naturally said, why stick with a boring ballistics test when we can come up with a fun shot to do with a brand new Ford Raptor? But before I take the money shot on the Raptor, I need to find out what caliber will perform better for my needs. In game, you choose from an array of rifles like the AWM, TP AR300 to the SVG. Their real life counterparts from Accuracy International to Tracking Point come in varying calibers, so which one is the best? Today I'm bringing out three different calibers, 308, 338 Lapua, and 50 BMG. I have three rifles to fire the more popular rounds you'll find in Sniper Arena. For 308, I have the IWI Galil with an ACOG on it, which uses the same caliber as the PSG-1, SR-25, L42A1, and so on. For 338 Lapu, I have the IWI Dan Tactical Precision Rifle with US Optics glass mounted on it. And lastly, for 50 BMG, I'm going to use the Barrett M107A1, the brother to the M82A1, and the same round fired from the AS-50 and the Trivia 11 in Sniper Arena. So, enough talking. Let's see what these rounds do to some watermelons. Watermelons are fun, but let's take a closer look at how these calibers and rounds perform on clear ballistics gel FBI blocks. arena you get to choose from all different kinds of rifle systems right so if you're wanting to determine which round is most effective for you or which rifle is most effective for you arguably 338 Lapua is one of the most effective rounds for soft targets at distance but this is full mag I'm not shooting any soft targets I'm shooting a hard target 
So I'm just gonna go with the 50 BMG. Now, I have some Freedom Munitions armor piercing incendiary and armor piercing incendiary tracer rounds because if you look at the ballistics gel in the watermelon, the 338 and the 308 or 762 by 51, they break up nice in that ballistics gel, which is a soft target and uh, would cause a lot of trauma and damage. But the 50 BMG just over penetrates like crazy. Well, that's what you want, right? Because we're shooting a hard target today. So in theory, <laughs> in theory, uh, I'm going to shoot through the windshield with these 50 BMG rounds and over penetrate trying to hit a bag of snipers hide a black rifle coffee in the back seat that I'm going to set up and in theory over penetrate the windshield and blow up the bag of coffee out the back window doing as minimal damage as possible. In theory! <laughs> It's only fitting I take and put a bag of snipers hide up in here and uh, again the idea in theory is that the 50 BMG will over penetrate whereas the 308 and 338 break up on impact more for soft targets whereas the 50 BMG is more anti-material so I'm gonna try to shoot through that windshield there blow this bag of snipers hide out the back in theory! All right, so no airbag deployment here. We got plenty of fresh ground coffee in the bed of the truck. That's awesome. We still got the, uh, the bag of snipers hide here to boot. So all in all, I don't know if you can see where I put those uh, three little stickers on there, but uh, black target in the shade, little challenging to uh, see on the, the reticle there. So I took and put three orange stickers on there. Tried to compensate a little bit high on it that way i didn't run the risk of uh, hitting the dash or uh, blowing out into the bed or anything like that so of course you can always justify the angle of your shot afterwards right <laughs> but that's pretty cool pretty cool nonetheless um let's look in the back seat here uh i did see some of the the fragmentation 
end up going into the back seat. Still got, still got coffee beans everywhere, all over the ground here. So we got a little bit of, a little bit of fragmentation there on the the seat belt. Uh, looks like the leather did get a little bit of damage to it. We got that right there. Nice little hole in the back seat. Gonna have to get that reupholstered. Don't know. Oh, we got we got a hole right there too. Um, the back window is actually good. So uh, don't have to worry about replacing that dude. Glass everywhere in here. Got that little bit of little bit of safety glass dust all over the inside here. But take a look, take a look at that. That bullet hole coming at you. But everything else seems pretty good. Pretty good shape, nonetheless. Got some coffee. You know, nothing like that new car smell with some some snipers hiding in the back seat. It's nice. That's nice. Got some more fragmentation on the leather right there, but I think it should should buff out. Got a little bit of the the copper jacket there off of the round here in the back seat. Looks like. It actually, yeah, that's that's where this came from. It hit the safety belt right here and then just stopped on the back seat and then fell down here. So this is part of the copper jacket right there. That's cool. It's a perfect size. Yeah, this is actually the back side of it too. The back side of it, because you can see the 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 markings and where where it crimps down into the uh, the brass that's pretty cool pretty cool yeah don't have to get her detailed jacket from the bullet here. Looks like it broke up a lot more than what I thought it would, but uh, it's probably the armor penetrator coming through on that and clipped out the back of this uh, this little uh, cap here on the tailgate. Just, I don't know. I think there's easier ways to make coffee. Might get a Chemex. Right? Very seldom do I have sponsors here on Full Mag, and very few of them are as easy to work with as the folks over at Sniper Arena have been. When they asked what a video could look like, I joked about shooting a raptor and they said, eh, you do you boo. Sniper Arena is a free to play game available on Android and iOS, so go download it and show them some love. Links in the description below, and I'll see y'all next week.